dad sent me RVing with my mom, my grandma Marsha, and my dad who's driving. We're traveling around the country to see all kinds of historical sites and meet some new friends along the way. And these are my adventures. <laughs> Take the top bunk. Grandma Mara, I want to show you where you're going to sleep. Whoa! You get to sleep down here with me. Mom! Daddy! Let's get our bed! Do you have a starfish? <laughs> Good Dory! Ellen, today we are going to Boston, Massachusetts. I can't wait. So my friends, everyone raise your right hands and repeat after me. Your other right. Yes, right hands, very good. There you go. I swear. I swear. Never to tell. Never to tell. All right, that covers it. Who's ready to destroy some government property? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Ah. All right, you want to taste yes. some tea? Yes. This is Singlo. Go ahead and taste a little bit of it. No. Not, yeah. Not my favorite. This tea's never been tasted in Boston before. Really? Yeah, we dumped it all in the harbor. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. I'm here to talk about my trip. I had so much fun dumping the tea in. I just love history. It's one of my favorite subjects, actually. Not just presidents, like that stuff way back then. That would probably be my second favorite subject. Can I get a witness in the Zachary, Zachary Taylor, your favorite? My favorite president, I slapped. Sugar, just step into your sneakers go, 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 go. Right up here is Paul Revere's house, Macy. I really like Paul Revere. When he was little, he was a silversmith. He was. He had 16 kids. Did presidents have a lot of kids? John Tyler had 15 kids. Hey, you could be a tour guide on the Freedom Trail. Yeah. Now, this is where the Declaration of Independence was first read to the people of Boston. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I made my own declaration of independence. And then at Paul Revere's house, it was just amazing. But then the walk back to the car was so long. I thought I was gonna die. Salsa. I need nine tickets, dude. Welcome to Fedway Park. We're gonna go right in the machine here. Yeah? All right, thank you for coming in. It's a little sweaty, though. That's a Yankee stink. Hurry, go. Yankee stink. Yes! <laughs> I'm never conditioning my hair again. <laughs> All right, I think we have a jersey, one for Ellen. And I think this one's for you. All right, can we find a bathroom? Yeah, sure. So I can change. Hi, Ellen! a young presidential expert whom you may know from the Ellen DeGeneres show. Please welcome from Council Grove, Kansas, Macy Hensley. Kids 
of my cousin's baseball team, this could only be a dream for them, which is why I got the pitcher to sign my cousin Kale's shirt for us. I'm so excited for the next adventure, Nashville and then Virginia. Well, bye now. I gotta go drive.